The topic is Peacemakers Against Violence, and we're talking to Mr. Lonnie Greenlee and Ms. Mary Horn. And of course, uh, Mr. Greenlee and Ms. Horn, uh, before we had our uh, final commercial break, we promised that we'd give you an opportunity to talk about some other aspects of Peacemakers Against Violence. And one thing that, is, uh, uh, that strikes me is the fact that uh, quite recently, uh, we've had many reports of uh, so many of our young people being involved in homicides. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think that there's a disproportionate number involved in homicides around uh, Nashville than in other cities of comparable size. And so let's see if we can talk about some of these youth killers, uh, these individuals, and that's a terrible word to say, but that's essentially what they become once they kill somebody. And let's talk about that from that perspective. Well, every time I want to mention something like that, I have to go with political, mm. social, and cultural. Oh, do, it, do that. You know mm. what I mean? I have to. Because do that. The, the like of certain opportunities and things for certain people in certain communities, mm -hmm. it automatically triggers other things. Okay, good. You, 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 can't, you can't get past that. You, uh -huh. you, you can look past it, mm -hmm. but you have to understand that we need to start to offer opportunities uh -huh. and then find how can we get these kids back in school to get some education. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we can stop a lot of things in the long run. Uh, the young lady, the lady that got killed the other day in the store. Okay. Mm -hmm. She had a gun. Mm -hmm. The gun was just like his gun. Uh-huh. It was false security. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're sitting around here toting the guns and, and uh, instead of us getting with the ill problem, we're trying to get this false security mm -hmm. of holding the gun, gun and thinking the gun mm -hmm. gonna protect us mm -hmm. and it never has been a protection. Mm -hmm. It was it was all that what it was for really for hunting, uh -huh. for sports. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now when you look at these kind of things that I look at and I realize that now I say I have faith mm -hmm. uh, in God. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now where is my gun? come in play. Mm -hmm. My gun had to come in play because of my faith of man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, your fear too. Of, of Absolutely. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I haven't owned a gun since 1978, mm -hmm. 1980 or something mm -hmm. like that because it never has occurred to me that it can really protect me mm -hmm. because it's like Billy the Kid, whoever got the gun first mm -hmm. is the one who's going to win. That, well, that seemed mm -hmm. to be uh, Western-style violence that, that, that most of these young people are practicing now. And I mean, they shoot before they even think, think you, you know. know. Uh, well, you can't be thinking, you have to be mm -hmm. reacting. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to quit complaining. Mm -hmm. Let's get down to some real brass stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and, and let me say something else, too. We keep trying to bring other folks in other communities mm -hmm. to our communities. Mm -hmm. First of all, our people don't trust mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be hard for them to trust Anybody somebody else. else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to go ahead on, all of us who come up out of the madness, mm -hmm. let's call a big meeting. Mm -hmm. And no matter what you're doing, let me assist you no matter what I'm doing, let you assist me. Mm -hmm. And let's start some things to get our kids in. Because once we bring folks from the outside in, those kids hard as man, look, mm -hmm. They're not there to help us. They're going to go home at 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. This is all the things that we got to deal with. Mm -hmm. We have to get realistic. Mm -hmm. We have to quit playing this fairy tale facade. Mm -hmm. It's not going to solve our problems. I'm telling you, if we don't hurt and do something, we're going to be devastated. Mm -hmm. It's 14 now. What about 9? Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. And it goes down. Uh -huh. Yeah, it goes down mm -hmm. before it goes up. It, yeah. well, it first mm -hmm. was 18, mm -hmm. 19, 20, 21. Mm -hmm. Then it became 17, 16, now 14. Mm -hmm. If you think it's going to get any better, mm -hmm. then you watch it if you don't do anything okay. about it. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. let's get involved with so that. It, it, so the, the possibilities of it getting worse are much greater than the possibilities of it getting better without us doing anything. If that we don't grab a hole mm -hmm. and start doing it right now, mm -hmm. and let's get this thing five years to make a difference, mm -hmm. then we'll see. If all these different programs get together and everybody makes an assessment, which one's working and which one's not working, mm -hmm. then we can pull something together and confidently make it work. Mm -hmm. But we want to be individually doing things, mm -hmm. and we are not making any kind of mm -hmm. lead way because we are not assessing each other. Mm -hmm. What's really working? Mm -hmm. uh, is anything working? So mm -hmm. we got to get to that part of stuff mm -hmm. first. Miss mm -hmm. Orr. Let me share this. I just want to know where are these kids getting these guns that's, that's from. That's the question that I was about now, to raise. The, the thing good. that's coming, uh -huh. the, when I was coming up, we had a gun in the home. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it is my brother and I got the gun. We started playing with the gun. We didn't have no idea. Mm -hmm. But when my mother, one evening, she was, something went, went on with the dolls or something. She mm -hmm. was going to go get the gun. To, I guess she was going to do something mm -hmm. with it. But when she went to it, it was gone. Mm -hmm. She noticed it was misplaced. And she got the gun. She said, oh, no, it's time for me to take this gun mm -hmm. out of the house. Mm -hmm. 
and she took the gun out of the house because if you look at it, we could have killed ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's oh, been a great could, tragedy. Yes, yeah, so we could have got mad and mm -hmm. took the gun to school mm -hmm. and shot somebody mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was asking. Where, why do people leave the gun mm -hmm. in the house? Where do they, these kids mm -hmm. get these guns from? Either your parents, your friends, or who? Mm -hmm. Because as long as they've got the gun, then, they, you know, they, this young man who uh, became involved in this robbery murder, uh, had he not uh, a gun, then there's a strong possibility that he might not have even gone in there thinking about trying to take anything. Right. But I think, as you indicated, that gun gave him a sense of what? False security or whatever. And, yeah, and, and the gun was placed in the house by someone else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was his gun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he go up on the couch. Oh, to see, get I, the gun. Yeah, I didn't know where he got the gun. Is that? Yes, is that? yes this, this gun wasn't even his gun. Uh -huh. Okay, this is what we got to be dealing with. He the, knew of the exist existence of that gun and where it was. Uh huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. And how can somebody go somewhere to do harm to people for a cigarette mm -hmm. for a couple of dollars? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so that means automatically that somewhere we are not Something's like, wrong somewhere. Yeah, yes. mm -hmm. So we need to go deeper than all this stuff we're talking about. We need to get these kids to actually think in this mm -hmm. because That's right now right. they're thinking, nobody cares about me. Mm -hmm. I don't care about nobody. Mm -hmm. I really want to commit suicide, but I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. So I might well kill somebody and go and lay in prison. You think you think that they've re reached that point of depression and everything in reference to all, all these things? Every t don't say nothing to me. Mm -hmm. Say something to me right now. Do uh, something. Mm -hmm. You go around and see this everywhere. Uh -huh. They got chips on their shoulder. You can't even touch them. Uh -huh. That's why I got a, a song in this thing called Club Atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Man, this, they out here trying to shine and make themselves mm -hmm. feel good in the club. They like to shoot you, man, at any it's time uh -huh. for no yeah. reason. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. We don't have reasons now. Mm -hmm. We ain't talking about these folks out here killing folks for a thousand dollars now. Uh -huh. We're talking about a couple of hundred dollars, fifty cents, a rag uh -huh. that's blue or a rag that's red. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Look, man. Okay, we can call this gang problems all we want to, uh -huh. but this is a sort of psychological mm -hmm. problem. Mm -hmm. And we better as a whole, as a black community, mm -hmm. first, then we can go rest the community. We have a black problem. We have a, we are right now trying to kill ourselves off the face of the uh, earth. Uh -huh. And at this rate, it's not going to take long mm -hmm. being locked up in prison and laying around the graves. Mm -hmm. It don't take very long mm -hmm. for us men, especially if we die at our age mm -hmm. and not give anything back. Mm -hmm. These folks already don't have anything. Mm -hmm. We're in a heap of trouble. You know, uh, uh, Mr. Greenlee, a long time ago, we talked about what was known as the endangered African-American male. Uh, d b are you saying that essentially uh, some of these young people have created a situation where uh, the, the very existence of African-American males might be at, at stake? One thousand percent, yes. We got to look at the alarm and things that are going on. Mm -hmm. Man, this thing is getting out of hand. Mm -hmm. I really say it's a state emergency and we need to come up with some solutions. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, we as a whole have to come up with them ourselves. There's nobody going to be able to come from outside mm -hmm. to come in. If they had, it would have already been done. Mm -hmm. And so the peacemakers, you, you, you think that this, that, that this can really serve as a, as a method. <clears throat> it might not be the only method, but it, it is at least one method whereby we might be able to generate the kind of support and things that you're talking about here. Music sue the savage beast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Music has always been made because of what? Emotions. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> and it, in, in any music yeah. you can get them involved in, uh, in spite of what people might think in reference to that rap music and vulgarity and etc., that's what you're trying to do, at least get through by way of music. If the media, the radio people, and the community get involved with trying to change it, mm -hmm. some major industry gonna come in and mm -hmm. outdo with us little boys. Mm -hmm. But what happening now, everything is selling so smooth, there's nothing left for them to even think about doing. Mm -hmm. But the sex, guns, mm -hmm. robberies, mm -hmm. all of this kind of stuff. So until we put out something else, there's no reason for the industry to get involved in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if we look at it a long time ago, they talked about our situations and mm -hmm. getting out of this mm -hmm. and getting out of that mm -hmm. now. So we put ourselves in this thing, and they want to put on rap. Mm -hmm. But okay, since you want to put on rap, let's put some more rap out there and demand mm -hmm. that people mm -hmm. sell it. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I tell you, there's not a song that hasn't been made mm -hmm. that wasn't made from emotions. Mm -hmm. I want to arouse the emotions. Mm -hmm. I want to lift their spirits. And I want to start their imagination to think about against this violence. Very good. And of course, uh, let me, I think we're almost at the end of the uh, show for today, but let me thank the two of you. Okay. Uh, Mr. Greenlee and Ms. Horn mm -hmm. for coming by and giving us that excellent information dealing with uh, gun violence, youth mm -hmm. violence, and methods that you have developed that will uh, reach emotionally some of these young people yes. and 
perhaps change their mind in reference to some of the things that they're doing. And we certainly appreciate that. And uh, we don't know how far this program might go, Amen. but we do believe that if the two of you continue to push it as you are pushing it, that it will go a long way and it real will solve a real need that we have in the community. And of course, let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.